I'm going to wrap it around her butt right away. Go on. Go on. Well, how about that? <laughs> Excellent. How about that? Yeah. Come on. Now we got to get some forward motion in her. See how? When they're like this, though, and they're kind of iffy, I don't, like, that doesn't bother me one bit. In fact, I kind of like it. I like that over trying to hold them back and, you know, struggling with them. So what I got to start doing is making contact with her mouth like I am right now. Put her on the bit a little bit. Just a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. You're better on your bad side today, huh? This is, she's doing really well. So I'm just kind of keeping a very light pressure on the reins. But I want her to feel my hands. I want her to respect my hand, but I'm not pulling back. Not holding back either. I just have a gentle contact and that's it. No matter what she does. So if I want to get her to relax a little more, I'm going to try to put her in a bend. See if I can get her to, I'm pretty good about getting the horse to stop chewing on the bit. I'm, I can usually get it out of them. And how I do it when I'm riding them is, I start bending them in a small circle, working on that inside rein. Getting that, working on that neck to relax. Once the neck relaxes, they quit tanking on the bit like that. So. Now, did you notice she didn't blink once and she was really solid and her mouth didn't move? All I had to do was let her go a little bit. That's what she wanted. 
Let's turn around here and Easy, easy. Now, if I was on her back right now, I'd have a big smile on my face. Whoa, girl. Good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Now, let's go this way and see what happens. Now, I didn't pull at all. I just stood still, held the lines. I'll do it again. Watch. The one thing I don't want to do right now is, or the one thing I want to do right now is teach her to whoa without pulling on her. And she's pretty good at it. I'll hold the lines just still. Whoa. Not pulling still, just holding the lines. Whoa. Whoa, girl. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. So, what I did there was I wanted it to be her idea to stop because I asked her, not because I'm going to pull on the lines and make her. Just trying to get a better connection with her. When you can tell a horse something without using the reins, it's powerful. And when you say, please, whoa, you son of a gun, that helps. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Again, now, I'm not going to make her stop. She's kind of saying, uh, ah, I don't know if I want to. Whoa, whoa, mare. So now that she doesn't want to stop, I'm going to use that to my advantage and put her on the bit a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just gently hold back just a little bit, try to control her feet a little bit. 
So I'm not going to pay attention to her mouth at all. I'm going to watch her feet as I work these lines. So when she's walking along here, what I'll do is I'll try to shorten her stride. Okay. I'm going to shorten her stride up. And what that does in effect, it puts them on the bit when you shorten their stride up. Okay. So you're not working on their face and making them self-conscious of their mouth. You're working on controlling her feet. So I'm trying to slow her feet down constantly is what I'm doing. Slow them down, control her steps, try to shorten them up a little so she's not taking such big steps. This is really, really important, this part right here. Tell you what now, that old sun's getting warm. Way better than the last time it worked. Yeah. 